Dimash Kudai Bergen. Yes, you have to be a fan when you love really good vocal technique. And today I'm going to look at what was suggested. I have not seen it before. Ikanaide. Okay, let's start it. This is Tokyo Jazz Festival. Doesn't sound like a jazz piece. Love his expression in his face. But this is more of a studio recording, but I'm sure he's singing everything in like one take. Oh, nice harmonies. Mm. Okay, I'm going to stop in here because this is so Dimash and I just want everyone to know that this is like such an important aspect of singing. You sometimes do not need your full voice. Breath is part of your expression. It does so much. It draws you in. What he does here, he takes deep breaths. Look at it. It's never gasped. He's using a lot of air because it's very breathy. So a lot of air passes through the vocal cords. But he's also well supported at the same time. So he's not losing too much air so he can't get through the phrase. But that deep breath paired with good support and still the cords are loose, but they're consistent when it comes to the amount of closure. So it has a very consistent sound. And at the same time, right here, he sings with a lower larynx. So it's, it's a very classical sound almost. So versus so. And he's the master of the larynx. We talked about this before because he can play with the placement of that and the sound and the color that it creates. Okay, so from now on, just listen to that how he plays with vocal cord closure and the breathiness and the larynx position. Very nice in a mix. It's a head mix here. Da 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 da. It's 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 very subtle. It's kind of hard to hear. Where is he? Is in chest or head voice? It's kind of a head mix. Leading into that very breathy falsetto. I love how on the high pitch, he's not digging in. You don't always have to. Softening up on the top for expressiveness. Ooh, those transitions. So he was in chest voice, very bright, forward placed very much in the mask straight tone straight tone in the center of the pitch and then that transition back to the softness and actually there is quite there's kind of a register transition in here because as you transition on a higher pitch from chest to the softer you have to transition registers but it's very smooth no break no flip That's so cool. 
it's kind of placed back very light on the mechanism but he gets so soft but he's not getting breathy he gets softer with good closure like tighter closure but not so much intensity it's very cool Ooh, nice fade out Very classical sound. Watch. Watch. This is a commentary. So you can watch the original if you don't want me to stop. I am commenting on this. Look how open he is. And openness doesn't just always mean open your jaw as wide as you can. When he does an O oh or an O, he brings his lips forward, which really helps that forward placement and like bringing the sound literally forth. And um, I mean, just look at this position right now. It's a nice round space. You can see his teeth. He's not covering with his lips. So that means the sound can really come out there. You're not blocking anything. Nice placement, openness. Bright sound with, with overtones, squillo, whatever you want to call it. But he's using more of a classical sound here. Lower larynx. Ah, versus ah, which I don't know if he's going to bring it in here because it's kind of a very laid back ballad kind of song. But that's kind of how you can paint colors with your voice. So on that top, now what he did, higher larynx, is lower, higher larynx. So that's how he can create all these different colors. Now he's completely using the soprano sound, lower larynx. That's head voice with a lower larynx. Head voice with a higher larynx. It sounds so different. You have like all this full resonance of the full head space here. When you do that lower larynx. Sounds, he could be a countertenor. I don't know. Is there a piece out there where he actually sings as a countertenor? Because I would love to hear that. He would be really good at it. He did it. He went to his head voice and now a more pop with a higher length. Ah! So cool. Ooh, ooh, 
Yes, before he starts the pitch. This creates so much suspense. It's like on the pinnacle, on the climax, like, oh! He literally holds everything. It makes you, it's like suddenly there, there's this silence, but silence and music creates a lot of suspense sometimes. So in this case, it's like the longer he waits, the more it's like, everyone's like, and then breathe when he starts the pitch. So, so good. Such a great effect. Ooh, that was unexpected. He went low again. I thought he was going to just sing one ending pitch. <laughs> That's what I expected. And all of a sudden he's doing more vocalises. And then he goes way low and hums. It's very cool. Wow, that was, that was so amazing. I mean, Dimash is truly the artist who can like, he could play around with all the little parts. So, you know, you have your lips, your tongue, your soft palate, your larynx, your pharyngeal space there. You can play with all of it, the vocal cords, how they close tighter, looser. And he knows perfectly how to play with all of it. There's, there are so many different colors you can create and he's such a great example. You can learn a lot from just watching and listening how the sound changes with, you know, when you know all those things that I talked about today, like what parts you can manipulate to create different sounds and colors. That doesn't mean it's easy when you know it in theory, it still use, it takes a lot of practice of all these transitions. If you would like to know how to sing any song like a pro, I have a course on Skillshare and with my link in the description, you can actually get one month for free as a trial. That means you can watch my course for free. And if you decide to then subscribe to Skillshare, that is an awesome platform. I have been using it for a couple years. They have courses about all kinds of topics. I'm a lifelong learner. I feel like I want to learn all the time and enjoy it about anything and everything that I'm interested in. I just want to know everything about it. Skillshare is one of those platforms where you can have a flat rate to learn all the things. And if you would like to learn how to sing in your mixed voice so you don't flip involuntarily between registers anymore and you have a strong top, then check out my course Mastering Mixed Voice. Until next time, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing.